After seeing how depleted Burnley's squad was for the defeat at Man City, Rui Patricio came in to replace Nick Pope in the final wildcard team. Wolves secured a 1-0 win over Bournemouth to make it 6 clean sheets from their last 7 matches. Another late change saw Matt Doherty downgraded to remain Saiz, with those funds instead used in midfield. Two other late changes to the initial wildcard draft saw both Hyung Min Son and Anthony Martial come into the team, replacing Jamie Vardy and Ismail Assar. Man United were facing a weakened Chef United side, without their first choice goalkeeper and two of their first choice defenders, and the Frenchman didn't disappoint. Hyung Min Son saw a goal ruled out by VAR for offside, and brilliantly set Harry Kane through on goal to pick up an assist. But apart from those two moments of magic, the South Korean was rather worryingly staying out wide for much of the game. The ever-consistent Raul Jimenez made it 7 goals in 11 matches this calendar year, heading in the winner against the Cherries. While Dominic Calvert-Lewin showed some promise despite failing to score, no player has fired more than his 7 goal attempts during the game week so far. It's been a successful couple of weeks since the restart, with the rank rising from 177k to 106k last game week, and then up again to 45k so far in game week 31 plus. All in all, it's been a solid start for the wildcard team, so the plan will be to save a free transfer going into Saturday's game week 32 plus deadline. Rui Patricio faces an Aston Villa side that are fighting to stay in the league and picked up a good point against Newcastle midweek. Only Man City have attempted more efforts on target since the restart. But Wolves have allowed just 4 big chances in their last 6 matches, fewer than every other team. Only Man United have matched Wolves' tally of just 2 goals conceded in their last 6 matches, and they face a Brighton side that have scored just 4 goals in that time. Only Norwich have fared worse. Alexander-Arnold has picked up 2 goals and 5 assists in 8 matches against the current top 6 teams, returning an average of 7.6 points per game. Mo Salah has 8 goals and 3 assists in 11 matches this calendar year, averaging 7.9 points per game. During the same period, Kevin De Bruyne has directly contributed to 7 goals in 9 matches, returning 6 points per game. Since Bruno Fernandes arrived in the Premier League, no player has scored more goals than Anthony Martial, with 6. No FPL midfielder has a higher expected goals figure than the Frenchman during that time. Since Mourinho took charge of Spurs in game week 13, Kyung Min Son has directly contributed to 11 goals in 13 matches, averaging 6.1 points per game. Sheffield United have shipped 6 goals in 3 games since the restart, conceding a league high total of 9 big chances, but will be boosted by the return of Dean Henderson and John Egan. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has picked up 47 points during this calendar year, only beaten by Aguero and Raul Jimenez amongst FPL forwards. No player across all positions has had more big chances than the Mexicans' 12 during that period. Everton have started slow since the restart, scoring just once so far, but only 5 teams have attempted more shots on target. They face a Leicester side that have won just 2 of their last 10 league games, conceding 10 goals. It looks to be a tough week for captaincy, with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang perhaps the most appealing big hitter on paper, at home to Norwich. For those of us without the Arsenal forward, the ever-consistent Raul Jimenez could be a safe option. Hyung Min Son scored in the reverse fixture against Sheffield United, and could once again find some joy on the counter if Mourinho sets up his side as he did against West Ham, particularly late on in the game. But it's hard to look past Man United's attack at the moment, with 4 goals since the restart. Only Man City have taken more shots on target or fashioned more big chances. Anthony Martial has had 4 big chances in the last 2 game weeks, the most of any player. <laughs>